Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, you guys. What's going on, y'all? I know it's been a good minute since we have come on this page live and had a discussion. But with this new movie out, Tyler Perry's new movie. Acrimony. Acrimony that is out. It's a great discussion topic. Because um, we've been talking about it all day. Yes, ever since we left the movies watching it. But um, before we get into the discussion, I want to welcome you guys and thank you for always supporting Still Dating My Spouse. I am Pamela. I am Stephon. And the whole purpose of us ever being on social media is to encourage you guys to keep the love and the joy that you had on your wedding day long after you said, after that wedding day, all throughout your marriage journey. So that's what we're here to do. And But today, we're here to talk about all of the messages that Tyler Perry put into the movie Acrimony. And if you have not watched it, uh, it's your choice to continue to listen because we are going to do spoilers. Um, so if you want to be surprised when you watch the movie, hey, just come back to this a little later. Be like, damn, that was so right. <laughs> just come back to it a little later because it's going to be on the page. But let's have an open and uh, honest discussion about this movie. Because one of the things that I thought when uh, we was headed to the movie is by the trailers, it led me to believe that um, um, Taraji was a woman that stood by her man and he did her wrong, right? Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what it makes you think. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Another husband done cheated on his <laughs> wife and about to leave her and leave her with the children and destitute, all this. This is not wait to exhale. By no means is this waiting to exhale. Um, yes, there, there was a couple that got married. Um, they had issues before they got married. Mm -hmm. um, the the hus the boyfriend then, which is was the husband, he cheated. Um, they got past that. Mm -hmm. um, he had his hopes and dreams about... Uh, he had he had dreams. He had an idea, and he wanted to see it all the way through. And he was so focused on this one idea, one dream, to that's all he saw come hell or high water. It was this, this, this. I'm trying not to spoil it for y'all, so I'm going to say he was just focused on this through everything, through the ups and downs of the marriages, he wouldn't let this go, which is a good thing because you're supposed to hold on to your dreams and see it through no matter what because right. just when you are about to give up, it could be your blessing could be right around the corner and know your worth. So, he had an idea. He told, Him and his wife talked about it with girlfriend at the time, but when they got married, they had he had this idea. He asked his wife to support him on his dream. And she did. She literally supported his dream. She she supported him and his dream. As my husband just said, that's all he focused on. Mm -hmm. The only thing he focused on was his idea and getting his idea in the hands of the people that can make it successful. He just needed an opportunity to pitch it. Every day for at least 18 years, that's what he did. And every day for at least 18 years, his wife supported him. She worked two jobs. She used all of her inheritance money. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the story because I already gave y'all a disclaimer. So if you're still here, that means you don't watch the movie and you want to talk about it. So look, it is what it is. So she supported him. So, and she did exactly what Couples are supposed to do. We're supposed to support our spouse in their dreams, in their ideas, when they are venturing out to own their own business. They want to pitch something. We are supposed to support them. But. But. Here's the but. The problem came in at when you get so focused on one thing, your dream, your business, your job, your hobby, that you don't have a balance where you're able to be a husband or a wife. You are only 
that focused business person or that focused dreamer, that focused entrepreneur, whatever it is that has 100% of your focus that you don't even have time for your spouse, that is a problem. And that is exactly what happened in this movie. He was so focused on making his dream a reality that he wasn't a, he wasn't a husband. He was not a husband to her. Well, see, that's where we disagree. I say he was a husband. He wasn't a very good husband, but he was still a husband because for the fact that he loved her, he wanted her well-being. His hopes and dreams, it wasn't just for him, it was for them. He had promised her this. He, you know, they would go strolling around, and I'm, we gonna do this. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have that. You know, we gonna do this, and all this is gonna be for you. But he just, like you say, he just didn't know how to balance it. So I didn't say I would say he wasn't a husband. So a husband, he wasn't a good. He wasn't a good provider. He wasn't a provider at all. He wasn't a provider at all. He was she worked. He she worked the jobs. Yeah. She she made sure all the bills was paid. He wasn't a provider, so tell me how was he being a husband? He loved her. He, he stayed true. The to man, her. the the stranger on the street, love you. The Do next door neighbor can love you. So okay. what? Do, so what does that? What does that mean? That just because he loved her, love. Listen. Are you about to have an anime moment? What does love have to do? with love. You? <laughs> you trying to help Ike? Love is. It takes more than love. And the and the fact that he felt like all he needed to do was focus on his idea and get his idea picked up and and um forsake everything else around him, his marriage, his wife, the bills, the house, life. I'm not saying that you cannot pursue your dreams, but have a balance. Mm -hmm. If he decided that, so here's the thing. Here's where they really failed at. Um, they didn't have that hard conversation, right? Right. They didn't have the hard conversation of when they got married to decide, okay, baby, this is what you want to do. You want to focus on this. That's fine. I will be the full, so full breadwinner, but you need to get a part-time job to pitch in. Work part-time hours and the other part-time hours. Focus that on your idea and on your business. Listen, Charity, see this movie. It's really good. It's going to it's going to challenge your thinking on um, how couples should interact and how who supports whom or how long you should support your spouse idea or dreams. And get a clear understanding of where you stand. Right. Now, the, the, the problem that they had, which is a lot of a problem that a lot of couples have, young and or old, they don't have that conversation. Right. Okay, what are your dreams? What are your aspects? What are your wants? What are your needs? What, what you know, have that clear-cut conversation right. about what needs to happen. Right. I'm expecting you this of you. You're expecting this of me. So that way we both know. They went into it. They were both young in high right. school. They were just... College. College. Oh, uh, yeah, college. They were just young in college. They, oh, I love you. You love me. Right. Okay, everything will be giggles and farts, which ain't reality. But they didn't go too much into his past. They kind of dabbled into her family life, which we'll get to that in a minute. Um, It could be that he not had, he not have had that clear-cut example of what a provider and a husband and and our father should have been. Excuses. No excuse. Excuses. Really? Excuses. Anywho. When the lights are being cut off, when you're getting them foreclosure notices, you don't need someone to stand in front of you and tell you, you need to be the man, be the leader, get your ass a job, and take care of your family. You don't need nobody to tell you that. You should have common sense enough to know that you need to jump in here and help your wife out. She working two jobs to make sure that you can sit at home and play with this battery every day, all day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you need to pitch in somewhere, somehow. Do something besides sit in front of your dreams, your ideas, or 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 this or, or just. just he was sitting at home every day for 18 years. 
planning his idea. He could have did a side business at home and did them both. My whole, my whole thing about this was they didn't have the right conversation. They didn't have a good understanding of what, what expectations are, who's going to do what. They did not have that idea. She wanted a husband that was out working. She supported him. She supported, she believed in his dream. She really did. She believed in his dream. But she also failed to tell him, this is what I need from you while I'm helping you support you in your dream. Mm -hmm. He failed to tell her, while I'm doing my dream, I'm not going to do a damn thing. I'm just going to sit in front of this battery, run up our electricity, and have you out here running around a muck trying to pay these bills and, and take care of me while I keep writing these letters for 18 years hoping and praying that somebody is going to give me what I need. But let's move forward. A muck. Let's really? move forward. Running a muck. So the other issue that she they had. two little jobs. Now it's the end of the world. <laughs> the other issue in the movie is when we don't get closure from a prior incident, anything that that looks like it or mimic it will bring up old wounds. Wounds, sorry y'all, wounds. And that is one of the things that happened in this movie. A lot of marriages, a lot of relationships, not just marriages, a lot of relationships when it has been um, hit hard with an incident and you don't deal with it and get closure, you hold on to those ideas. You hold on to the way it felt. The, you hold on to the way it looked. And if anything comes across your path with that person and it gives you that flashback, you are going to believe that they are the same person they were when they hurt you. Nothing that they're going to tell you is going to, is going to convince you that they didn't do what you what your mind has told you that they have done. That is something else that happened in that movie. And we have to get really clear on when we have issues or hiccups in our marriage that we really sit down and talk about it. We really sit down and get some type of meeting of the minds and closure on that incident so that when it comes up again or it looks like it's coming up again, you know how to handle it. You don't go back into that little hurt girl feelings and you run with it. You don't go in into that defensive man stands and say, it's not me, it's not you. You know how to communicate. Conflict resolution. They didn't have that. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that. You know why they didn't have that? Tell them why they didn't have that. Because they didn't have to open and talk. No, the family. Oh. Are we, are we going to the family now? Yeah. Oh, let me tell you about these heifers. Oh. people Keep people out your business. Male yeah. or female because... Because they can see something and oh, just not like the person right. for whatever reason. They just gonna dog, 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 whatever, whatever. To to me, it's like you build a resistance. Like they could be telling you the right thing, but you done heard this shit so long. Look, I'm tired of hearing that. You obviously got bias, whatever. Your issues, your issues. Leave me alone. But at the same time, you need to keep folks out your business because yeah. that's gonna bring up conflict right. within itself. Right. So. I mean, your business is your business. Keep it to yourself unless you ask for help. If you don't ask for help, then, then you know, keep it pushing. Right. Because what worked for you might not work for me and vice versa. So my relationship is my relationship. Right. You run your household. I mean, but sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine now. Right. Because everything ain't pieces and cream in your marriage and or relationship and or lifestyle. Right. So keep your business to yourself. So there was family interference. And we all know about family interference when it comes to relationships. You have to really draw that imaginary boundary mm -hmm. uh, around your family. We, we don't want to push our family away because they can see things that we can't see because we're so close to it and we have emotions in it. But you also have to know where the information from your family where their intentions were mm -hmm. or where their heart is. Right. And when you see this movie, you will understand this. Mm -hmm. Everybody that brings you a bone don't bring you a clean bone. 
that bone has a whole lot of their mess on top of it. And so you you don't know if it's really your mess or their mess. But you love them so that you believe what they tell you. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, when we are in our marriage, we have to use discernment. We have to not only use discernment for our spouse, we have to use discernment with our friends and family. Mm -hmm. They don't mean us any harm, but when they feel like your spouse is not the best one for you, everything that spouse does is going to be wrong. You know your spouse better than anybody else. Don't ever let somebody come and tell you something about your spouse and you run with it. Mm -hmm. Give them an opportunity, a clean opportunity to tell you exactly what went on. You use what you know about your spouse, not what somebody else tells you. To make a decision on how you're going to act or react or deal with, stay or leave or however you're going to deal with what's going on in your marriage. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody else do that. Right. Don't let nobody ever run you out of your marriage. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody tell you that your spouse is this, this or that. You need to make these decisions on your own. That's another issue that they had in this movie. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So that's mm -hmm. issue number two. I should have told y'all this about three issues in Three issues in the movie. So the third one. What holding on to your dreams? Um, no, we no. talked about that one. Where did, where did that? Okay. The third one would be um. How do you put this? <sighs> when you say you done, be done. When you say you done, be done. Mm -hmm. People have true feelings. And stop playing these mind games or these ultimatums with, mm -hmm. with your spouse. When you say you done, be done. Be done. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, your mind will play tricks on you and have you doing stuff that will cause you and the other person harm. Honestly, mm -hmm. when you done, be done. And if you, if you know in your heart that you're not really done, don't say it. Don't mm -hmm. ring that bell. Because Absolutely. once you once you ring that bell, you can't unring it. Yeah. I mean, you know, you see people all the time. Oh, I'm done. Or I'm this. And then on Friday night, they mad, Saturday morning, they right back at you. So yeah. it, stop. Stop playing them games. Stop. That's middle school, high school stuff. Because right. people, like I said, people do have feelings. And, pe and feelings do get hurt. Right. I mean, it could go totally wrong. Right. You, okay, you said we was done. So I'm over here. With, with, with catfish and this, that, and the other, and now you won't be back, but you said you were done. Right. So leave me alone. And when I don't want to be with you, but you still want to be back with me, but you said you were done. And so I want to caution people to never make permanent decisions when you when you are emotional. Absolutely. You should never make a permanent decision when you are emotional. Allow for your emotions to really leave. So that you can make a sound decision about what to do in your life, in your marriage, who to deal with and who not to deal with. That's something that didn't happen in this movie. Mm -hmm. They moved on emotions. Mm -hmm. They moved and made permanent decisions mm -hmm. on emotions and regretted it. Mm -hmm. But when you tell somebody long enough that you don't love them and that you don't want to deal with them, if you say it enough, they're going to believe you yeah. and they're going to go on with their life. Mm -hmm. You can't be wishy-washy and, and tell this person, oh, well, well, I, no. I was just mad. I was, <laughs> that, was just, that was just PMS. That was just nah. nigga talking. No, nah, they don't work like that. So, overall, what I would like I would like to say about this movie, it was really good. Mm -hmm. I think it was a really good movie, and I think it's, it has a whole lot of messages in mm -hmm. there. But that was just the three that we are going to talk about today. Um, go out and see it. Have a discussion. Yeah. If you're take your spouse, take your spouse. They may or may not get all the messages, but one of the things that's going to happen is going to have a conversation. One of the biggest conversations that's going to come out of is how can I support you. How can I support you in your in your dreams and your aspirations? But as I'm supporting you, this is what I need from you. Right. If y'all get nothing else from that movie, you need to get that. Right. Definitely. Like, uh, not only take your, your your spouse. Take you know if you have young young folks, kids, young adults, take them to see it because they started out in college and then they ran through the years. Right. If you start out strong. 
then you should be able to finish strong. Absolutely. You, if you start out with one leg out the door or one right. leg in quicksand, then it's, I'm not going to say that's, never, that's where it's going to stay, but it's going to be harder for you to build that solid foundation. Right. It's definitely a, a conversation. I, I enjoyed it. Right. I mean, it was a lot of folks that say that it, it wasn't a good movie, yada, 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 yada. Right. But it's, it, who's that? Um, Acrimony. Oh, Acrimony. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it was definitely I, I enjoyed it. I I would definitely go see it again. It's, it has a lot of different messages in it, and of what when you don't start out right, things that can and will go wrong. And, and when there's it, it that happens a lot. Effect of communication. Definitely effective communication. Yeah. Now, had they sat down and honestly um, talked about their hopes and dreams and aspirations. Right. And their needs and their wants, then they could avoid a, a whole lot of drama. Right. A whole lot of time Absolutely. in their life. Absolutely. But that didn't happen. So that from that not happening, it shows you where it, it can go wrong. Right. So, so y'all, if you've seen the movie, let us know your thoughts about it. Um, go see the movie. Um because it is a conversation piece. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a, a marriage conversation piece. It's a relationship conversation piece. Mm -hmm. It's a family uh, dynamics conversation piece. It's a lifestyle. It's, well, it could be an individual piece. It's, because, oh, it's definitely because that. They, it's definitely even, that. Even though they were a couple, yeah. they still had their individual lanes. Yeah. And he had his lane he was focused on, and she had her lane of what she felt like she had to do to keep the boat afloat. Right. So. All right. So I'm Pamela. I'm Stefan. We done talked enough about this movie. Y'all have a good night. Uh, happy April. We're going to, hey, spring is here. We, we, we doing it, right? We Absolutely. doing it. Follow us on everything. And, um, yes, awesome movie. Awesome, awesome, awesome movie. Follow us everywhere at still, uh, day to my spouse, uh, day to my spouse all over social media. If you are a wife and you want to join my wife group, it is I Am A Wife here on Facebook. I would love for you all to join us. We have candid conversations. It's not all about bashing husbands. <laughs> it's about making us women um, stand in our truth, stand, keep our voice active in our marriage, and just know who we are. Um, so even though it says I am a wife, it's really about us, us wives, us women. So I do invite you to join us there. Uh, but that's it. Y'all have a good week. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.